Well, Hawaii is a very unique place, and we're also very lucky to live here. That's why every month we're visiting a different neighborhood to find out what makes each so unique. And in this morning's Welcome Home segment, we head out to Waikiki. Not just a tourist destination, it's also home to many local families. And that's where McKenna's been all morning long. She joins us now with more. Good morning, McKenna. <laughs> Good morning, Ryan and Christine. Aloha, 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 Hawaii. So we're here at one of the most iconic, right, spots here in Waikiki, which is really what they're known for, the beach. And here to tell me more about the surf, what this area is known for, is real estate associate, realtor associate, as well as famous surf family, oh, Moses. Whatever, I'm I, with the famous McKenna no, folks. When I found out I was going to be interviewing this morning, I said, yes. All right, you tell me now. Being, well, Let's talk about how surf has shaped the view of Waikiki. Let's talk well, about that. Let's talk about the fact that Waikiki and surfing is the face of Hawaii. Right. Almost everyone in the whole world comes to Waikiki to learn to surf, to get, mm -hmm. surf, to get better, and it's kind of like their bucket list thing. It is. But as you look around here, multi-million dollar properties when you talk about real estate. Mm -hmm. Closer you are to the water, more value of the property is. It's so nice. I've, it's been nice to learn how many locals actually really do live in Waikiki. Yeah, we all come down to surf. You know, Hawaii is an exterior place where... You know, you want to go outside with the surfing, canoeing, paddling, yeah. stand up, whatever it is. Active lifestyle. Active. All We're right, now I want to say, that's right. So let's talk about the impact that surfing has had in Waikiki. You talked a little bit about that, but let's tell more about the story. Well, you know, surfing started with the Ali'is here in Hawaii in the 1800s, and then really Duke Hanamoku is the father of surfing. He really took that, took it to Australia, I think 1901, and brought surfing to the country. My dad took surfing to Israel in 1957. So surfing is something that that uh, kind of crosses all lines. You see it in Vogue magazine, you see it on television ads for Subarus and stuff like that. Here we're at the epicenter. We're at the actually the nucleus. The nucleus. The nucleus of a man. You know, you everyone find... knows. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Oh, it's a morning show. show. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So that's right now we're on, tell us, let's break down some of the beaches because there's six so different there's beaches. There's a boat beach over there okay. that's been there for almost two months, but we won't talk about that. Okay. So Kaimana, really. And the Nanatorium, which is one of the most beautiful places in the world to go surfing with Duke, 40-foot tower. And you just keep on coming down the line. And canoes, baby queens, queens, and Waikiki. We, so you can see the sun is just now getting over the mountain. Le'ahi, yes. better known as Diamond Head. Lots of people yeah. out here already. Look at that going out. Yeah, well, you know, if we were from New York, right now would be almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. So it's 8 o'clock in the morning for us here Hawaiians, and we want to be on the beach okay. with McKenna Madooli. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Right? Okay, let's whatever. talk quickly. Exactly, whatever. Oh, my God, this guy. Let's talk about Surfers Healing real quick. Oh, yes, please. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, Surfers Healing Waikiki 2017. This is Izzy and Danielle, my brother and sister, Pasquitz. They're 20 year okay. that they've had this event. This is six years with the Aikau family, Zane and Pi'ilani. Dennis Mayer and all the family over there. Oh, and Herringbone, right? Brian Malarkey is going to be donating uh, his time and effort with his team here for the event this year. And something the people of the community can be a part of. Absolutely. So if anyone has a child that's on the spectrum, whether it's autism, whether it's mentally challenged, please come on down. Come serving with us. We're here from 9 to 3. You can go on the website, surfacehealing.org, right. and you'll be able to sign up for the day. Free food, free fun, locations, foundations is involved. Oh. It's something that really give back to Hawaii. Kind of our little apua'a, yeah. our really family circus. Very and maybe cool. McKenna Madooli oh will be there. Count me in, Moses. Whatever. This guy right here. All right, we're going to be here throughout take two here in Waikiki. I don't even know what to say. I'm going to send it back to Ron and Christine in the studio. Wow, he's, well, so, he's so lucky. You got to hang out with McKenna Madooli. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's very fun. <laughs> All right, we'll come here.